Hi guys, what's up? Today I am not in my shop. I am in a different shop. I'm in Jay's shop. What's up? He's in the he's in the Stone and hey. Sons workshop. We did not plan this. This is all Jay. I got here and he said he wanted to be like me, so he put my shirt on. But no, he's uh he's taking selfies. Oh, no, he's taking pictures of us doing the video. So anyway, last time I was here, we didn't we do a shop tour last time, Jay? <laughs> So we did a shop tour video, and then like a couple days after we did a shop tour video, I had yet to publish it. I changed the shop around. <laughs> and some, yeah. So let's just take a look and see what he's got. It, so what did you do? You changed your assembly table. It's up against the, not against, but over by the miter saw station. Yeah, so there was, there's two main concerns. Number one is limiting the amount of run for the dust collection and also the garage door was always a concern as far as not putting dust collection tools in front of it because well there's a door there i can't have any drops uh, and then the, the biggest pain in the butt was i had a drop right here for my bandsaw and, and planer but that ended up being yeah, I think that's when I came over and we worked our tails off to get this run over here. Well, you worked your tail off. And I then just watched you. now I come back and it's gone. Yeah. So, but yeah, basically, well, well worth it. Basically, having something dropped in my in, in the middle of my shop was a huge pain in the rear and just in the way. So, the main thing is getting all the dust collection tools clustered on one wall, but still readily accessible. Yeah. Accessible and then also having the main assembly table have direct access to every single tool. Uh, regardless of what stage you are on in the project, you have a direct access from the work surface to the tool on all every station really. So that was the yeah. main thing. And I like the I like the workbench. Personally, I like the workbench better this way than um, the way you had it. Yeah, it's all a learning experience. And but it looks good. It looks real good. So uh, on the bench here, we've got... Now, this is the course you're working on. Yes, this is the course. It's going to be like a... Uh, I hate to use the word hybrid woodworking because I think, you know, Mark Spagnuolo pretty much coined that term in, in, in woodworking. But the concept is basically the same. It's, it's power tools for brute work i guess and then hand tools to finesse the kind of thing so yeah. it's yeah, it's gonna be a full-blown course um, i like that yeah all the dovetails are 1 16th of an inch proud and all the dovetails are chamfered all the way around same with the through tenons yeah it's nice i like the uh half blind dovetails uh yeah so these are i gotta complete the drawers tonight or tomorrow, probably tomorrow um, I ate too much pizza for lunch, so it's probably tomorrow. Is that, is that what that is? A little bump there? Yeah, it's my baby bump. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is going to be a, it's a full blown course. I've already got seven videos completed on it and it's like close to two hours right now. And I think wow. a, after I've totaled up everything I'm going to be doing, there's going to be 11 videos total and it's going to be, it's, it's, it's something I haven't done before. It's something I'm trying new. Uh, a lot of people have requested some type of full-blown explanation, instructional type of video. So I'm doing it on this course. It's it's 100% information condensed. Um, not really condensed, but uh, all of the repetition is still removed. So it's not dead space in the videos. It's just a lot. I try to pack as much information as possible in this. Uh, and it's 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 a tremendous amount of work so I don't know how many of these I'll continue to do going forward um, maybe if it does quite well then I'll do some more of that but yeah um, yeah looks good I like it I love the love the way that that looks the contrasting wood yeah so when you think of contrasting woods for me anyway the, the very first thing that I always think of is walnut and maple right? yeah right yeah that's, that's the traditional yeah. walnut and maple but when I made my um, when I made my chest board, chest table. Yeah. So uh, this is walnut and walnut and hickory. Hickory, yeah. And remember in the video I resawed like just a little bit. Well, I, I glued it together like this just because it was gonna be easier to glue together. And this gives me enough material to make multiples if, if needed if I ever get around to doing it. I don't mm -hmm. know if I ever will, but the opportunity is always there. So anyway, that's the contrast walnut and hickory, hickory and it looks really good yeah i like that especially if you put water on it let's throw some water on it so this is hickory too right yeah all that is hickory and walnut and then the back panel 
is also walnut. Yeah, that's nice. I love the way that looks. It's sharp, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's different. It's unique. So, so a lot of the inspiration on here came from two guys, um, Matt Kenny and Michael Pekovich on, on Instagram. If you follow those guys, Matt Kenny did a series. I think he continues to do a lot of smaller box type of pieces that yeah. just look phenomenal. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And then Michael Pekovich has a pretty consistent style of using exposed proud joinery that's mm -hmm. chamfered and all so i kind of mixed both of those as far as the inspiration goes and this isn't like a crazy awesome you know big project it's just it's a relatively small project so the goal with the course is more information based yeah. rather than completing the actual project now right. if you do follow the course you still be able to complete the same project that's cool but it's all information based. that's cool you have some water I've got some cooling water that I use at the lathe to, uh, come on water. Oh yeah. I love that contrast. Yeah, it looks good. Oops. Yeah. I love that. Brings out that hickory too. Yeah. So that's going to look good with the, um, the half Same way with this. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Cool. That's awesome. Right. Yeah, so so when do you think that um that when do you think that course will be available? Um, four months ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it, I, I was I was hoping to get done with the project completed yesterday, and I just got frustrated with some errors that I had to fix. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to I realistically speaking, I'd like to be done with the course this week, and then done with all the computer aspect of it to publish next week. Cool. Okay. So after that. So, yeah, Jay's working on that, and then today um, they left a little trail. But Bruce Ul Ulrich, Bruce Ulrich. Yeah. Um, I think it's Brew Daddy on uh, Twitter and Instagram and those different social media outlets. But he brought Jay some Cheez Its, and uh, he came up with Wayne Brown. They brought up some uh, uh, black walnut. Yeah. Oh crap! I totally forgot. I didn't. I never paid him for this. <laughs> got, free wood. <laughs> no, it's not free. I, I, I've got to get him some money. So yeah. So they brought some cheez its and some free wood. But no. Um, anyway, Jay's helped me on a few things today. He's helped me with my website. Uh, so all of you know that got everything switched over to WordPress. It's fully we, functional. We we bundled some stuff too. So oh yeah. So the wait your his router lift and my outfeed assembly table so we did oh and also the router fence so i've got the outfeed assembly table the router fence and also jay's router to lift all right yeah. all bundled together and so they're over on the website check it out but yeah so he's been a big help and um i am forever grateful <laughs> <laughs> but that's all we got for you today any closing words jay any closing words um Anything, just anything. Anything. Give us, give us a just a just a nugget of information and knowledge. Nugget of information. This is is Sean's one of Sean's uh, first mallets. <laughs> this is his. Um, That's made out of cherry, so you know it's not very heavy. Cherry is not very heavy. Actually, you know what? This is this is my lathe mallet. I keep this at the lathe to adjust the the locking levers because my jet lathe loosens up. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm going to expand upon this little last minute nugget of information. Okay, I'll go right ahead. This is not planned, by the way. <laughs> no, but this is the this is the original, um, one of the original mallets, right? Yeah. This is like the third or fourth one you've done? Uh, probably about that time, yeah. Yeah, so anyway, it has just a tapered handle, just a regular tapered handle, and, uh, you know, it, it does oh, the I'm, job. I know where you're going with this. Yeah, it does the job, but let me show you one of the newer ones. Okay, let me flip you around. I know what he's gonna say. This is one of his newer ones. I think did I turn this for you? Uh, I, I did. No, I did that. I brought I brought that over. Yeah, you did because you loved yeah. it. Anyway, I've copied it a couple of times, making 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 some of your mallet styles. But anyway, so as you can see, there's a finger grab right here. Amazing. This little detail makes the world yeah. a difference with these mallets. Yeah. And this is just a solid blank that's was originally rectangular in shape and it's right. turned in such a way that he's got a flat spot and a round spot so it won't roll off your bench and if you're familiar with using a flat spot or a round spot you're covered yeah 
That's cool. Probably the best all around mallet option that I can, I can think of. And so that's that's one of that's what I put up on. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, that's what I put up on uh, Instagram yesterday or the day before. Soon, CD Hardwood, <laughs> CD Hardwood is uh, going to be uh, teaming up with me, and then we're going to have a template and um, a video on how to turn it, and then the blank will come from CD Hardwoods over in Birmingham. So. Um, this guy's always joking around. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's what that's all about. But all right, this video has been long enough. We will see you again tomorrow. Later.